Hi, I'm George Kay, and this is my father Niels. Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Father and Synthesizer, finally. Today we want to show you an experiment we have conducted over the past couple of weeks. We wanted to create a delay slash reverb effect using only the STM32 blue pill. And as far as we know, that hasn't been done before. We've done some light googling and haven't found any projects that were similar. If there are projects that are similar, please write them down in the comments. We'd like to have a look. Now, let's talk about how a delay works, like a classic uh, Roland Space Echo tape delay. You have a tape loop that keeps rotating, and you have a write head and a read head. The write head writes your audio signal onto the tape, and the read head then plays it back a few seconds later. And the delay time is determined by the speed of the tape. Now, how do you do this in the digital realm? What you do is you take a huge buffer for integer numbers and you read in your audio signal using an ADC converter. And once the data comes in, you write it into this buffer. And then, some distance apart, you have a read pointer. So you, instead of a read and a write head, you have a write pointer and a read pointer. And you configure the, the buffer so that it's a ring buffer. When it overflows, it just starts from the beginning. This way, the distance between read pointer and write pointer gives you your delay time. Yes. Depending on the rate you feed data in, of course. Now, we went a little bit further than that. Instead of having just one read head, we uh, decided to have four and up. Right. The idea was uh, to space them a little bit apart to create a reverb effect. It's like, uh, how do you describe it? It's like when you're sitting in a room and you make a noise, that noise gets reflected back to you by the walls. And with these read heads, you determine the size of the room, how far apart the walls are, and how long the reflections take to get back to your ears. Now, Niels, uh, let's talk about the input stage for this STM. Right. Um, as you know, the STM only can uh, work with voltage signals up to 3.3 volts. So 0 to 3.3 volts. 0 to 3.3 volts. And so you have to prepare your audio signal a little bit. Uh, you have to bump it up to uh, the middle of 3.3, which is roughly 1.6 volts. And um, the amplitude of this signal is also only 1.6 volts. So uh, you have your, your center level of 1.6 volts and your audio signal going up and down so that uh, the lowest voltage is zero and the highest voltage is 3.2, 3.3 volts. And uh, also the code for this uh, setup is in, on our GitHub and it would also work on an essential shield if you did some uh, preparing of the signal. We have everything on the GitHub. Yeah, uh, including the schematics for, for the audio uh, signal processor. Then we built the program into an essential shield and what do you know, it actually worked! Yeah, very beautiful. <laughs> but there was a small issue that uh, basically meant the entire project is done for and won't work as we think it might. Um, we recorded a small demo a few days ago. Let's look at that. Okay, right, what we have here is a small amp and the unit. This is the completely clean sound. <laughs> see and uh, hear no delay and no uh, anything. Now let's add a little bit of the effect and you can already hear the noise. Now we play something. It's definitely a really long and really fun delay here. Now if I turn the delay up even more, the noise gets really bad. This is maximum volume. As you can hear the notes dying off, you uh, can hear the noise, so it's not really usable in audio context. But the delay sounds really cool. Now, let's switch over to reverb so I can show you that. Right, now we've uh, installed the reverb. This again is the clean sound. Nothing, now let's turn up the reverb a little bit. And there's the noise again. 
and not much reverb yet. Let's turn it up a little more. Again, really bad noise. When you really dig into it, you can't really hear the noise. Let me just uh, let me just play something. But now, as the notes die off, the noise comes back. So it's not really all that usable in a musical context. But as a proof of concept, it's really cool. And we have some ideas up our sleeve to fix this in a very strange and weird way. Now, Niels, let's uh, talk about a conclusion to this. Yeah, the principle works beautiful, but the ADC converter of the SDM is way too noisy for a clean audio signal. If you would use a, an, a different ADC converter chip, one that is not that noisy, this uh, should, should work very good indeed. So any of you knowing about an ADC converter chip that um, can do audio rate and uh, is connected by SPI, please let us know. <laughs> I couldn't find a suitable device. Yeah, actually. we tried Googling, but to no avail. We'd like to ask you experts out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this whole thing was more of a proof of concept now, but the concept actually works surprisingly well on the STM32 Blue Pill. Yes. It sounds like a very clean, very nice delay and a very nice reverb with some springiness to it. Mm -hmm. We're quite happy with the way it turned out, save for the noise. Now, Niels, let's talk about you being a massive murderer. Oh, well, <laughs> those were not innocent. <laughs> no, actually, I killed uh, another two STMs. The first one, um, stupid mistake. Um, we do have something like 14, 15 kilo, kilobytes of RAM. So my buffer was configured as an integer buffer and I gave it 10,000 as depth. And my stupid mistake was, of course, integer is two bytes. So I was using 20 kilobytes of RAM, which the compiler was happy to do. <laughs> I flashed it into the STM and after that, that one was gone. <laughs> yeah. It was killed. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. Stupid mistake. And on to the second. And the second was killed by what I explained at the beginning. Do not feed audio signals more than 3.3 volt into the ADC <laughs> input. That one did it. <laughs> uh, another one bite the dust. <laughs> We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments if you can help us in any way or if you learned anything. Uh, please leave a like and remember to sub subscribe and also ring the little bell to be notified every other Tuesday when we upload a new video. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We hope to see you again in two weeks. And remember, stay, stay curious. curious.